how do you insert a vaginal suppository? I'm from Evi. We are a vaginal health company that specializes in the vaginal microbiome. And today I'm going to teach you how to insert a vaginal suppository. So with me, I have our applicator, um, our suppositories, which you can see in this little plastic bag. And this is all from Clinical Care with Evie, which is the clinical care that we provide after you take a vaginal microbiome test. It's based on your unique health history and your specific microbiome results. Everything is tailored to you and customized by an Evie affiliated provider. So Vaginal suppositories can include lots of different things. They can include things like probiotics or hyaluronic acid. Um, sometimes they include uh, delivery of a medication like a yeast infection treatment or a bacterial vaginosis treatment. And sometimes they uh, have boric acid in them. All of these treatments you should talk to your doctor or talk to a healthcare provider about before using them. Uh, because it's just very important to know exactly what's happening in your vaginal microbiome before you put anything in there, whether it's prescription or over the counter. So I know that inserting vaginal suppositories can feel a little bit intimidating, but it doesn't have to be and you get used to it. So let's go over how it works. So I'm going to put my Evie Care pouch to the side. I'm going to take my vaginal applicator. I'm just going to stand it up like this. I washed my hands before doing this because you're obviously dealing with your vagina and you want everything to be clean. I also refrigerated these suppository capsules because I, I know that it's easier to put them into the applicator um, and insert them into your vaginal canal if they're colder. So first I'm going to open this like this, take it out. I'm going to put the capsule with the treatment into the applicator like this. You can see it there. And then you're actually just going to, this is your vagina. Sometimes you can stand up like this and put your leg on a toilet seat um, or a chair or a table, and that sort of opens your vulva a little bit so that you can have an easier time putting something in. So as you can see, my treatment is inserted into the applicator. And if you can imagine, you're just going to take this and slowly press it until it gets into the vaginal canal. Now, some people will use like a panty liner or something after they've put their suppository in, in case there's any leakage. Um, but it's pretty simple. It takes a little bit of practice. I know it can feel intimidating. Obviously, if you're experiencing any irritation, um, like itching or burning, or you think you're having an allergic reaction, you should definitely reach out to a healthcare provider. But vaginal suppositories don't have to be hard. They just take a little bit of practice.